Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Online Plus makes designing custom form styles a breeze. From the gear icon, select the Custom Form Styles link that appears under the Settings heading. This will open the Custom Form Styles page. This page will list any custom forms that have been made. At the top of the page on the right hand side is a new style button. Click the new style button to begin the creation of a custom form. After you have clicked the new style button, the page displays the style section. Note that at the far left side of the page are a set of tabs. The five tabs are style, appearance, header, activity table, and footer. Each section will allow you to make changes to the different elements of your custom form style. Within the style section, you will name the custom form style, decide its form type, as well as decide its preset layout style, logo, and color. First, you need to give your new custom form style a name. To do this, click the small pencil icon or the term Untitled Style above the preview of the custom form at the very top of the middle of the page. Then type the name to give to the custom form style into the field. Use the form type dropdown in the upper left corner of the section to select the type of form you want to create. At this time, there are only three options in the form type dropdown list. The options for custom form styles are Invoice, Estimate, or Sales Receipt. Next, below the form type drop-down, along the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the preset layout styles. These determine how information is displayed within your form. Click the preset layout style you want to apply to the custom form style. Any selections you make will be reflected in the preview area in the center of the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, the first item at the top is a logo area. This is where you can upload a new logo for the form. Clicking the small plus sign in the logo display box will open a choose file to upload dialog box that will let you upload a new logo. Below logo is a color palette. The color you click here will determine the accent colors on your form. Click a color cube to select that as your form's color or enter a hexadecimal color value into the field below the color cubes to create a custom color. When you have finished choosing your options in this page, click the Appearance tab at the left side of the page to continue creating a new form style. In the Appearance tab, you can select options within the following sections. Logo placement, font and line height, page margins, printing, and show tables. The Logo placement section allows you to choose whether to display your logo in the top left, top center, or top right section of the page. In the lower right corner of the screen is a preview or print button that you can click to immediately preview the changes you are making to your form. The font and line height section is where you will set which font to use and how far apart lines of text will appear. Select a font choice from the first drop down in this section. To the right are three font sizes from which to choose. You choose the font size by clicking either the small, medium, or large A button. The final setting determines how far apart lines of text will appear. There are two buttons for single or double spacing represented by two selectable buttons with visual representations of the line spacing. The Page Margins section is where you will set the top and bottom margins for your page. The default is set at half an inch for both the top and bottom margins. You can change these by entering a numerical value in the text box or by using the plus or minus buttons. In addition, a reset button will reset the margins back to the default if needed. The printing section has two options. The first is a checkbox for window envelope compatible and pay stubs. You will check this option if you print documents that will be placed into windowed envelopes and you need pay stubs. The second option is a checkbox to use letterhead paper. This will allow you to use pre-printed letterhead to print your forms. The final section on the appearance tab is the show tables section. This contains a single checkbox that will display an account summary when checked. This will add a section to the form that will show a summary of the account activity as of the date you create the form. When you have completed the entries on the Appearance section, click the Header tab to open the next section. The Header tab is where you choose what is displayed in the header of the form. The first section deals with form names. You can choose to show the form name by checking the checkbox. There are three text fields associated with Invoice, Estimate, and Sales Receipts. You can choose to change the name of these forms, or you can leave them set with their default values. The final two options in this section are checkboxes. The first is to display the form number in the form. The second allows you to choose to use custom transaction numbers in the form versus using the default numbering applied by QuickBooks. Company is the next section of this page. The company settings allow you to choose which company contact information to show within the form. The five checkboxes that you can check here are company name, address, email, website, and phone. 
Selecting any of the checkboxes in this section will cause that information to be displayed in your form. The Customer section determines the customer information to display within the form. This section has four checkboxes for the options Terms, Due Date or Expiration Date, Shipping, and Payment Method. The Custom section allows you to add up to three custom fields to your form header. There is a checkbox followed by a text box for each custom field. To add a custom field to the header, check the checkbox and then enter a title for the custom field into the adjacent text box if needed. Next, click the Activity table to display the settings that control the information and appearance of the Activity table within the form. The Activity table settings determine which columns of information appear within the Line Item area in the form and control the size, labels, and order of those columns. You can also control other settings related to the Line Item area of forms here as well. The first section of the Activity table tab is the Columns section. The four areas in this section are broken up in columns. From left to right, they are Columns, Label, Width, Percent, and Order. The Columns area has seven selections that can be made using checkboxes. To include one of the items in your form, check the checkbox next to it. The options are Service or Product, Description, Include Quantity and Rate in Description column, Date, Quantity, Rate, and Amount. Clicking the Include Quantity and Rate in Description column will remove the Quantity and Rate options from being selectable. The next column, Label, allows you to enter a custom title or label to the columns that you are adding. For example, you could change the Description column to be displayed as an Activity column by simply changing the label. The next section, Width Percent, determines how wide your columns will be. Utilizing the minus and plus buttons to change the width of one column will automatically adjust the width of the remaining columns. At the bottom of the Width Percent column is a Reset button that will reset any changes made in the Width Percent column back to the default values. The final area in the Columns section is the Order area. Here you will see text boxes where you can enter the order the columns will appear on your form. For example, entering 4 into the column for Quantity will cause that column to be the fourth from left to right. The next section, More, contains checkboxes for other attributes of the Activity table. The first option is a check to determine how to group activity by. Checking this checkbox opens a drop-down list where you can choose day, week, month, or type. Checking this checkbox also opens a new option, Subtotal Groups. This will display a subtotal for each item group type, for example, charges, meaning products or services, billable expenses, or billable items. Next is a Collapse Activity Rows checkbox. This will combine rows that have the same rate and descriptions and will omit the dates for those rows. The next checkbox is to show markup on billable expenses. Checking this checkbox will display the markup you charge your customers on billable expenses. The Show Billable Time checkbox will display the billable time within your form. Under this checkbox are two sub-selections. They are Include Employee Name and Include Hours and Rate. Include Employee Name will add the employee's name on the custom form, and Include Hours and Rate will break down the total hours and the hourly rate charged for the billable time. When you've completed your entries on this page, you can click the Preview or Print button to view your form. When you're happy with the results, simply click the Footer tab to open the Final section. The Footer section contains two large text boxes that will allow you to enter a message to a customer and a footer. Each box has three font sizes. They are displayed as small, medium, and large A's. The Message to Customer box will allow you to enter a default message that will appear on each form. For example, thank you for your purchase. The Message to Customer will be placed at the bottom of the Activity table to the left of the total lines. The Footer text box allows you to enter any further information you want. For example, you could enter your company hours or a special event coming up. The Footer information is placed across the bottom of the page of your form. You can use the drop-down above this field to select how to align the footer content within your form. When you have completed your entries, click the Preview or Print button in the lower right corner to view your form. If you are happy with the results, close the Preview window once you are finished and click the Save button in the lower right corner of the Customize Form Style screen to save the custom form style. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.